So it has a brew. So in behind me, I've got the iPhone iOS stuff kicking around um, from my previous from a video I've just done. I just did the WWDC video, which will hit after this. I did do a brew time before, but it was shit um, because it, everything else happened. I learned so so many things happened, and I kind of um, need to re-record shit. So I'm I'm actually doing that at the moment with a brew. Nothing to eat actually, unfortunately, because Michael Tremor. Um, said you always have something to eat and makes makes me hungry, so I've not actually got anything to eat. As much as I've got some food plastered around about the place, I don't actually have anything physically here with me to eat. Um, and my tea is pretty much empty because it's left over from my WWDC video. Anyway, E3 I'm going to talk about because E3, um, well, I'm going to do a proper roundup video of E3 with the Xbox and PlayStation 4 and what happened, what Ubisoft released and stuff like that. You know, probably like uh, maybe at the weekend, maybe like Friday, maybe. Um, but at the moment, I just want to talk about the whole Xbox 360, oh, Xbox 360, Xbox One and PS4. So last night, Sony basically stole the show with um, the PlayStation 4. Um, Microsoft are, are doing some really stupid things because they think they can get away with doing it. Now, Microsoft, I, per, for me personally, um, I thought when they released the Xbox One, I thought it was a really good idea. Um, it was a really cool concept because if you look at the way that um, Xbox, um, Xbox is sort of how it's used by people, the majority of people that have it are going to be families um, or, or are families and they use it for more than just gaming. And PlayStation is not necessarily that sort of thing. PlayStation is more, it's not family based, it's just like gamers, it's probably called gamers generally that use it, um, and then the MLG faggots use it, Xbox for some weird reason. I think it's because the connectivity is a lot better, to be fair, um, Xbox is better for, for pros, quote unquote, because MLG people are fucking shit, as I've also already mentioned, I hate MLG idiots. Um, but the thing is, uh, Microsoft then shot themselves in the foot by saying, DRM and being very EA centric and not listening to the customer, having things like you've got to be connected to the internet every 24 hours, you can't play games, you can't sell games to anybody other than one person, which is against EU rules as also UK rules, so they can't actually legally do it in the UK, so I don't quite know where they what they're doing with that. Um, and then Sony came along and said, do you know what? We're not going to do any of that. We'll let you sell your old games. We'll not let get you to um, connect to the internet. Um, if it's, this is disc games, so obviously if you've got other games that you get from uh, the store, I think you do still have to. But disc-based games, you can sell them. You can trade them. You can take them around your mate's house. You can do anything you want with them. So that's the first thing. So Sony, as much as Sony are losing money left, right, and centre, they've not. I don't think they've made a single bit of profit for years now, four years I think, since they've actually made any profit. Um, they're actually listening to their customers. They're listening to their customer base and I think this might be the time we might see Sony actually making some money out of it and actually winning back the share that Xbox had. Xbox and Microsoft, I mean, the, the other thing as well is the um, PlayStation 4 is going to be $100 cheaper than the Xbox One. I think it's about 50 quid-ish, I think, something like that. I think it's going to be 349 quid um, or 400 US dollars is the PlayStation 4. On the Xbox One is going to be 450, is it? Or oh, 500 dollars, 499 dollars, something like that, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'll put it up there somewhere, up there somewhere. Um, but yes, so not only did they listen to the customers, they also produced a price point that's really, really good. Um, as admittedly, they don't include the PlayStation 9, which is a lot of what fucking Apple uh, Xbox fanboys are going on about. It's like, oh, well, yeah, but the Xbox includes the, the Kinect as standard as, as opposed to an optional add-on. Like, yeah. Yes, not only that, but you can't turn the fucking Kinect off, um, which is another really annoying thing. With the Kinect, it's always on. It looks at you. It does some, like, really annoying things. With the, with the PlayStation 4, it's not even going to do that. Um... And that's really, really a good idea. Um, you don't have to have gold to use them at Netflix. Um, you do have to have PlayStation Plus, uh, gold, PlayStation Plus, to play multiplayer now, which is interesting. But it's not 
this is not really a surprise because I mean I know PC gamers don't have to pay um, and current PlayStation 3 players don't have to pay Xbox you do have to pay pretty much I mean you can play online but it's very limited you can't really do very much unless you pay for gold um, but it's worth paying for Xbox Live at the moment is currently worth paying for because the experience is so much better and I think if PlayStation or Sony stop sort of um, getting their players to play I think the uh, I think the experience will be a lot lot better so I think really they're kind of uh, they're kind of doing things really really quite well I suppose the key question you're going to ask me is am I going to go out and buy a console the next gen next gen console at the moment, I don't know. Um, because, I mean, I'm going to stick with PC because PC, for me personally, PC is the best. Um, personally, for me, um, and I'm not going to I'm not going to be a militant PC gamer and you know elitist and sort of say PC games are the best. For me personally, it is. I'll tell you for why. I like the fact I can get better graphics. I like the fact I can get low, much much better frame rates. I like the fact that I can do multiplayer a lot lot better. It is a lot better. Trust me. I like the fact there's a better community. I think personally, the, the PC gaming community is a lot better. You don't ha you don't get ch like twelve year olds shouting your mama jokes down the mic at you. Yes, you do get a few idiots that just annoy you, but generally you don't get fucking lunatics that you know like children that just shout and scream at you. That should be in school. Um, and keyboard and mouse for SPS is is the best ever. Personally, I think that's just you, I, I just can't get on with the controller. Really, it's just the best. Um, and also, you can do so much more. You've got modding. You've got um, you, you can use all sorts of different controllers for PC. And and yeah, there's some real cool things with PC. And you can't do a lot of the stuff you can do on PC with console. But there's some really cool console-based games that are just coming out for console, which look really cool. Um, and I'm kind of, at the moment, I won't pre-order one, I probably won't buy one on day release because I don't see that much point. Um, but I might, I might get one further down the line, um, once I've upgraded my PC to something that will, because at the moment it's, it's okay but it does need upgrading, I need to upgrade that to something, probably like an Intel system I suspect. Um, probably not Haswell because Haswell looks like it's not going to be that great. Um, but yeah, for me at the moment I won't pre-order one, but I might buy, buy a PlayStation 4 maybe. Um, and if and if Microsoft turn around and get rid of all the DRM stuff, which I I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are moaning at Microsoft saying this and the other. I think Microsoft might do a U-turn on this, um, simply for the fact that they've seen the reaction on Twitter, they've seen the reaction at the Sony press event, they've seen the reaction of of people generally, and I think. They will be stupid not to do a U-turn and not to turn around and say, we won't worry about DRM, we won't worry about the Kinect, the Kinect won't be always be on, uh, we'll sell it with, you know, we'll sell the Xbox with the Kinect, but you don't have to have it on, you don't have to have it plugged in, you don't have to use it. Um, because if they don't do that, they're shooting themselves in the fit, foot and they will not, as much as they've got the, you know, the, the DLC ex like exclusive firsts with things like Battlefield and Call of Duty, it's not going to be the winner for a lot of people. Um... Proper hardcore gamers are not going to do it. Maybe your general families, so you know, mum and dad might just buy the kids one, maybe an Xbox One, maybe because they can do again, it's a family all in one system. You can do a lot of things with TV and things like that, and you know, fantastic, cool. But proper gamers won't. Uh, proper gamers don't make up the majority of the market, they don't. Um, it won't be the gamers that make the decision as to whether or not they'll go with PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. So it'll be the families, it'll be average users, um, you know, the types of people that haven't got a fucking clue what the hell they're doing. They just play casual games, they play Facebook games and things like that. And they don't play proper games um, and they'll be just, you know, uh, their 12-year-old son will say, I want an Xbox One. Mum and dad will go out and buy one and that'll be that. And they'll be the ones that make up the majority of the market. It won't be the gamers. Um, I can tell you that for a fact. Um... But yes, that's kind of it really. There's some really cool stuff like Watch Dogs looks fucking amazing. Um, Ubisoft released some really, really cool things last night. Um, Watch Dogs looks really, really good. Uh, there's a new Tom Clancy game coming out. There's so many really, really cool stuff. Um, there's a thing called the the Clash, the, the, the something. Uh, I can't remember what the hell it's called. That looks really cool, really cool driving game. But E3, I'm going to wait for E3 to get over with first before I actually start saying what's actually been released and what I'm excited about. I'll probably do another brew time maybe later on in the week, maybe on a Thursday, Friday, um, and just do like a, an extra brew time as opposed to just a generic segment for E3. 
But yes, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I need to say is ATW Clothing, uh, they do some really, really cool stuff. Worth Go and check them out because they do some really, really cool um, things. Um, I don't generally recommend clothes and stuff like that because, again, it's a very divisive subject. But ATW Clothing, go and check that shit out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, they do some really, really cool shirts like this one here. They do some really, really cool shades, which actually are too big for my face. They're, uh, they're really, really cool. They're like made out of wood and stuff. They're really, really sweet. They do do some really, really sweet stuff. Some really, really cool sweatshirts, some really, really cool hoodies. Um, so check that shit out. Um, worth checking out. Prices aren't too bad either. Um, I think it's all produced in the UK as well, which is really good. You can get it shipped internationally, so pretty much anywhere you are in the world, US, Canada, wherever, um, which is really good. Ch worth checking them out. Also worth checking them out on Twitter. Really, really good social media presence. Um, but apart from that, I shall catch you in a later video.